Jimmy Fallon is giggling gleefully because President Joe Biden has shared The Tonight Show host's pandemic-themed holiday song, just hours before Biden gave Fallon his first late-night interview as Commander-in-Chief. The president just tweeted about my song so I'm freaking out, Fallon says of I. Fallon has experienced COVID-19 firsthand, announcing on Instagram Monday that he tested positive for the disease in December and has recovered after experiencing mild symptoms. Music, at the heart of Fallon's new game show That's My Jam, has been a constant in his life. He remembers being raised on radio. My dad had me and my sister climb into our attic and hang speaker wire to build a giant antenna for our house, to get radio reception, says Fallon, 47. Probably not the safest thing for children. The whole house is basically a microwave. The humorous tracks played by Dr. Demento, aka Barrett Eugene Hansen, inspired Fallon to compose music of his own. I got into writing novelty songs and funny songs and comedy songs, he says. So that was always part of my life, doing impressions and being into music. NBC's That's My Jam, premieres Monday, 9 EST slash PST, pits two teams of paired celebrities, who go head to head for the charities of their choice in music themed games, some of which have been featured on The Tonight Show. I. A wrong guess sends the rush of air your way. Don't know the lyrics for slay it, don't spray it? Then water will shoot out of your microphone. A mixtape medley showdown between powerhouses Kelly Clarkson and Ariana Grande in the series previously aired sneak peek resulted in tears, Fallon says, after Clarkson slayed Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. People were crying in the audience, he says. I've never seen anything like it. Chance the Rapper, BB Rexa, Josh Groban and Normani are among guests for the debut season, but professional musicians aren't the show's only successes. Fallon is impressed with performances by Kate Hudson, Taraji P. Henson and Anthony Anderson. Fallon shares his dream guests, favorite games and whether has signed an end to his Tonight Show tenure.